I'm going to sell you we're getting some interesting devices, one of those being the Motorola Electrify 2. How's it going, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and if you like the Droid Razor on Verizon, you could get this device and have a pretty similar device on U.S. Cellular. It has 3G connectivity, so no 4G on this device, but it's packing some pretty decent specs, including a 1.2 gigahertz dual-core processor, a 4.3-inch display, an 8-megapixel camera, and more. Is it an awesome device for you? Is it worth it? Or should you go with something on US Cellular like the Galaxy S3, which does have 4G LTE connectivity? We'll find out in the unboxing. But first, special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this for use in Phone Dog's One Paw Bandit game, which you can access in win free phones at instantwin.phonedog.com. When you go into Best Buy Mobile to get a device like this, you won't deal with rebates, you won't wait 8 to 10 weeks for a debit card, you don't have to fill out paperwork and all that kind of mess. At Best Buy Mobile, you'll walk out rebate free. Let's take a look. Electrify 2. Is this thing electric? We'll find out. That's a bad joke, but I'm going to go with it anyway. We'll find out in the full unbox. Of all the Razer S designs that Motorola has done, if I had to pick one particular design, it would be the Electrify 2. I love the chrome around the sides, and I think you might as well. This is the Motorola Electrify 2 on US Cellular. It's available now, and it's packing some pretty nice specs as well. A 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, a 4.3 inch QHD display, 540 by 960 pixels, an 8 megapixel camera on the back with 1080p HD video recording. I get a 4.3 inch display, Android 4.0 with Motorola's user interface. All in all, it's a nice device on US Cellular. It brings that kind of razor look and feel and the Kevlar back and all that good stuff to US Cellular customers. It's got 3G connectivity, unfortunately no LTE on US Cellular's uh, new LTE network, but what you do get is a pretty nifty little US Cellular customer care manual here. You get safe, smart, protected, and you get US Cellular Android market information, which is Google Play now, guys. Come on, come on. I'm just kidding. Special thanks to Motorola, or excuse me, US Cellular for giving us a review unit. You got your AC adapter module here, and then your uh, USB cable as well down in the box. So again, special thanks to them for giving us a review unit to take a look at. So out of the gate here, you can see the look and feel very similar to the Razer line on Verizon, the Droid Razer line that is, very similar to the Droid Razer actually, with the uh, camera on the back, Kevlar on the back, and then you've got Gorilla Glass uh, on the front. But a beautiful design here, love the chrome around the sides, and you'll notice some minor changes. Some of those being power button in the top right hand corner instead of on the side, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right here, your micro USB charging port up the top, which is great because you can charge and text at the same time, and then you've got your volume rocker over here, on-screen buttons as well, and then you got over here, SIM card slot for uh, what looks to be US Cellular's 4G LTE network, and then a micro SD card slot over there on the side. So a nice looking device, and I wish I had the Razer out here so I could compare them, but just to give you a comparison here between the Razer M and the Electrify 2, that's what they look like when held side by side. So really a nice looking device and kind of kills off some of that uh, that plastic look and feel, at least on the Verizon version with the, uh, the Chrome, which even though it's not metal, it kind of looks like metal. And that, you know, in the industry is a uh, certainly a good thing. Kevlar on the back again, so uh, should be prone or should be able to take a drop and not break. Then you've got the front as well, which looks fantastic. So it's loading up right now. Like I said, out of the box, not too much uh, on this device, but you do get Again, Android 4.0, which is a nice touch with Motorola's user interface, which is arguably the most stock user interface on the market outside of actual stock Google. So we're loading up our US Cellular uh, splash screen right now. And you can see, again, very thin, very light. One of the nicer devices in US Cellular's current lineup, though, again, the battery is still non-removable on this US Cellular Motorola device. So it's loading up. Let's take a look here. Again, pretty impressed with the design. Look and feel is nice. You've got your emergency call shortcut down here. You've got typical Motorola look and feel with the ability to access the menu here from the top. You can unlock, and actually I want to show you the unlock screen in case you've missed it in some previous Motorola videos. You can see I can tap it and either select phone, camera, text messaging, or I can swipe to unlock. And I've got my typical home screens over here. Now I love the implementation of the home screens on this Motorola device because take a look at this versus what they're rolling out to new, uh, now rather on some of the Motorola devices. You can see here you've got quick settings as a shortcut over on this device, but I don't care for the way that they're rolling them out like this, whereas over here, actually you can't pinch like that because it's more of a stock implementation than actually this, but you can see your seven home screens over here. Don't care for the fact that I try to put my home screen in the middle of the page, but when I hit home, it scrolls all the way back to the left. We talked about that in the review. Over here, a much more stock look and feel, five home screens out of the gate with your main home screen right there in the center, so it's easy to operate. And if you're used to stock Google, it's going to be a nice transition. All apps and widgets up here with a shortcut to the Play Store. And you can see 3G connectivity with US Cellular's network ID, even though we're not in US Cellular coverage area. So I'm actually roaming right now, most likely uh, on Sprint. So you can see out of the gate, Amazon stuff, Amazon, Amazon Kindle. 
MP3, App Store, Audible, City Perks, or I mean Daily Perks rather, and City ID, both of which are installed by US Cellular. You have an FM radio on this device, HD games, IMDB, Let's Golf 3, mobile hotspot capabilities, then you get text, or I mean, excuse me, Tone Room Deluxe, Zappos, and then your Navigator, which is US Cellular's version of Telenap. Some widgets pre installed as well. You get some Motorola stuff and some Google stuff. Calendar, for example, Motorola, and we can bring this over here. And for example, set it right there, and we can resize that as we see fit. So Motorola's widgets are resizable, as are Google's widgets and Android 4.0. So it's got a, a nice implementation and a nice look there. Let's take a look at text messaging, show you the keyboards that come on this device. And all in all, 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, but still relatively fast with little to no lag. Portrait to landscape transitions are reasonably fast. And we can take a look at Motorola's multi-touch keyboard. Now out of the gate, you get swipe as well. So if swipe's your thing, you can take a look at that. But we'll do the quick brown fox. And my spelling is apparently terrible. Quick Brown Fox is, what's Quick Brown? He's hungry. Quick Brown Fox is hungry because he hasn't eaten lunch. So I can change that. Hungry. So pretty quick and easy to type on, and obviously you can turn on auto-correction. Again, as I mentioned just a minute ago, you've got on-screen buttons, so back, home, and recent applications, all on the display itself, although hopefully when you load up YouTube, let's see if those buttons go away by going to a YouTube video. I just want to take a look. First animal to survive in space. And we'll rotate out. And I'm hoping that once it loads up, those will go away. We'll take a look once it loads. Again, we're on 3G network right now, so it's gonna be painfully slow loading videos. And I believe we're on Sprint's 3G network, which is uh, having some issues in the Charlotte metro area. So again, you know, the video's loading up, but you'll notice that you don't lose the buttons on the side, which can be a point of contention for some people who wanna maximize that 4.3 inch display this could be an issue. Here's your browser as well. It's the stock Motorola browser. It is not Google Chrome as we've seen on some of the more recent Motorola devices, the Razer M, and I'm assuming the Razer HD and the Razer Max HD, although I didn't get any hands-on uh, in New York. I was actually in meetings. I had Taylor cover those events, so we'll see if those come with Chrome as well. But phone dog loading up right now. You've got your typical tab set up and very stock Google look and feel here, and then phone dog has loaded up. Pinch to zoom, relatively responsive here, and you've got your menu button over on the side. Shows stuff like request desktop site, save on page, or share on page, find on page, save to bookmarks, and more. So again, quick and easy to use. Loving the stock Google experience here because, you know, even though I think that in some cases it may not be best for all consumers, for those people that are Android purists, they're really going to love this because it's very few or very little when it comes to Motorola's customizations. You're going to see, obviously, some icon changes here and there, but outside of that, it's very much a stock look and feel. I think for a lot of people, any, anybody from Android purists all the way over to perhaps first time smartphone buyers or even somebody that's coming into another smartphone, there's a lot to like in the Electrify 2. Keep it long to phonedog.com for continuing coverage of this device and be sure to stay tuned for some dog fights and reviews as well, but particularly dog fights because this one will be compared head to head against Motorola devices and other hot smartphones, both Android and non-Android as we get into this crazy holiday season. Be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog. We're starting the greatest tech giveaway ever too. Be sure to check that out. We're giving away a lot of awesome smartphones. Check it out online, facebook.com slash phone dog and on the site at phone dog.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter as well, phone dog underscore Aaron and on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone dog AB. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think of this device. Maybe this, you think this is an uglier Motorola device. Maybe you like the Razer M, maybe you like the Droid Razer. Let me know. Phone dog underscore Aaron on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. Much more coverage to come on the Electrify 2 on phonedog.com.